this nowadays community is a community that uh, immigrated from Laos, Chiang Khuang, Laos country, 200 years ago. We are speaking about the modern surface uh, land here. First time they immigrated to this uh, area, only uh, four to five families. They didn't know at first uh, what's underground, like the prehistoric uh, community. So uh, in the past, they had to make a living, they have to build a house. So when they started to stick a pillar into the ground or when they dig a well, they just um, coincidentally found the uh, artifacts that scatter under the ground they deep down around two meters, like broken pieces of uh, pottery. In the year 1966, um, Mr. Steve Young, he was a son of a U.S. ambassador in Thailand. He uh, studied at Harvard University under the uh, course uh, Anthropology and he uh, came to Thailand to visit his father. He went out and talked to people, observed way of living and finally he stumbled on broken pieces of the earthen uh, pottery, the baked clay pottery and then he was surprised you know, because it's like maybe a big pile of pieces and then he asked the villagers, they, they didn't know what, you know, about the uh, background or the history of these artifacts. So he uh, tried to pick up some pieces and travel to the um, headquarters of the Fire Arts Department in Bangkok and try to have a research made investigation and then the Fire Arts Department uh, in, in Bangkok uh, tried to compare the color to other prehistoric sites in uh, Thailand. Finally, they found that it's similar to some of the examples of the pens on the cliff wall uh, in Ubon uh, Rajatani at Patam. So they uh, finally could trace back that it might probably be made in the same uh, period of time. If you're planning a trip to Thailand, be sure to head over to go2destinations.com to check out their exclusive and limited time only package deals. Check out more exclusive iTravel content by clicking on the video tiles and don't forget to subscribe. You can also stay up to date with all things iTravel by following us on Twitter and liking our Facebook page. Thanks for watching.